since, you know, I published an article, I think, in 2003 in the Atlantic Monthly about the case after the trial. And after that, I was contacted by one of the people, by a man named Toby Bryant, who is actually a cousin of the basketball player, mm. Kobe Bryant. And Tony Bryant told me that he was there the night of the murder, that he brought to Greenwich the two men who murdered Martha Moxley. They said prior to the murder that they were going to, that they were going to take her caveman style. Um, they were two kids from New York City, a very big man called, who was six foot three, 250 pounds, who now lives in Bridgeport, Connecticut. The other one lives in Portland, Oregon. I have spoken to both of them. Um, one of them is black. Um, when Martha Moxley's body was found, it was covered with hairs from a black person. Which we, you know, you know, wait a second, Robert. Let me, let me in, in, interrupt for one second. Your article in the Atlantic. Is this Jeffrey Tubin? Yeah, yes. Your article in the Atlantic. Well, and, and just Jeffrey, like, you should, you know, you should disclose that that from the beginning, you you have absolutely been dogged long before Michael was convicted that Michael was guilty, no. and that was your bias I, from the beginning. No, and my that was bias. Every news report that you did on my that, bias. Jeffrey was. Well, it, my bias was watching the trial and watching the evidence, and I, like the jury, thought he was guilty. But what I read in today's opinion was that the judge completely rejected the whole Kobe Bryant thing, uh, Kobe Bryant thing. He rejected the argument that Mickey Sherman made to the jury and the argument that you made in your Atlantic article that the real killer was Ken Littleton. What the judge said oh, in today's I didn't opinion. Know, I what didn't know. No. What uh, the Jeffrey, judge you're said. Jeffrey, you're up to it again. You're well, up to it again. Well, you're, you're twisting the facts here. The judge in this trial said that Mickey was unaware that Mickey, he would not fault Mickey for not having found Kobe Bryant. I mean, Tony Bryant and those and and the the gentlemen who were with Tony Bryant. So he didn't reject that okay. theory of the case. But, he but, just but didn't, the, he didn't fault Mickey for not finding them, which this, I, I would agree with. This is the, this is the key fault point. For. This is the key point is that the judge said the evidence all points to your other cousin. Thomas Skakel. He said the failure well, you know here. You, now, do you, you know agree? What? This do you is agree? what you did. There, no, this is what, what you the did with said. Michael. You're, you're trying to convict somebody before they have a trial. Thomas Skakel's never been, a trial, uh, been on trial for this. And I never said that Kenny Littleton did this murder. And I wouldn't do that because I wouldn't convict somebody before they went on trial like you do, Jeffrey. I, judge, I, what I said the, is the that there was stronger. Said what I said that Mr. what I Denver. said was that there was stronger evidence against many other people than Michael Skakel. And what his attorney failed to do, which any attorney, their first year a criminal attorney, would do studying criminal law, is you bring in that evidence because that goes to reasonable doubt. If you can point to somebody else and say this person is more likely to have committed this crime than the person who's on trial, why, that is the basis for reasonable doubt. And that's what now the judge was point. saying. The judge was not saying that Tommy Skakel was guilty, and you should apologize for that, uh, that I, Tommy Skakel, for, for, bes for besmirching his name the same way, Jeffrey, that you did for a whole year on CNN against my cousin Michael Skakel, who is innocent of this crime, and who was, as I said, was 11 miles away with five eyewitnesses that Mickey Sherman failed to turn up and that were right in front of him. And that's why the judge said that he was reversing this because those people said he was not there. But so he's, he's, he's right about Mr. that.